This is the near finished product of our kitchen. Basically, it's finished. Um, we just put the cabinets on yesterday and we had to rehinge everything because they do not make outside like latches. You have to do them on the inside now. So there's the inside latch now. So we have to fill in these holes with like wood putty, but we're gonna do that at a later time. Right now we're just kind of taking a break from everything. Um, we replaced the, I'll go over everything that we replaced. We replaced the light switches, which we're gonna like replace these as like, I guess the plate thing we replaced. We're gonna replace these at a later time. Um, we're gonna replace them with black ones. And then um, we replaced the back, or we did the black splash. And that took us about a day to do that. Um, and we just did a chef theme in here. That's what we originally had in here, what I originally wanted. Um, we redid the counters. This is just a Rust-Oleum kit. Um, the cabinets were a Rust-Oleum kit as well. It's just paint, so it's not like real granite or anything. Um, but it's just a paint. Oops, I think I knocked it all over. Um, it's just a paint and some chips thrown on here and then you like reseal it sand it and then reseal it We replaced the faucet with this um, tall like Faucet this comes down like this and you can rinse and it has got like three different rinses So that one like the powerful rinse and then that one and then this one just takes it back if it's in the other mode. Oh, that one doesn't want to stay. It was staying. Anyways, um, so that is the kitchen sink. Um, we, I also repainted it like all down in here because it looks horrible down inside there. So parts of the cabinets on the insides are painted and then parts of them are not because we did not have a enough paint but the kit said that we wouldn't have enough paint anyways for the inside so we um, spray painted this this used to be like a air vent for a burn like a burner or you know stove back like in the day I guess and so we we spray painted this black just so that it would go with everything else because obviously we can't like put it like cement or something there like cover the hole I don't know anyway so um, and then we replaced this switch plate cover here and we just have to replace this with some black ones we replace this one and um, we'll replace these with black ones as well um, just some little minor things that we still have to do and there's the black splash of course again um, at a later time we're gonna replace our oven and um, I'm just going to probably spray paint or paint the hood black so that it goes with the new stove um, it's, oh and the can is also we replace the latches so we put these type latches on. I got these on clearance at Lowe's for like, I don't know, they were probably 50 cents each or something. They're pretty, ex like latches are pretty expensive. Um, so anyways, we replaced the refrigerator. It used to be an old bisque refrigerator and now we have this one, which is a French door and freezer on the bottom, of course. The only thing I don't like about this refrigerator is every time we go grocery shopping and if a bag gets against the back here, it um, causes it to um, go up in temperature so it's supposed to be at 0 and 38 right now but of course it's at 3 and 45 so we've removed some of the stuff that's in here we have to like always clean the refrigerator out so anyways um, we didn't really replace anything over here this is the same microwave and cart and all the other stuff that's on it of course um, these pictures stayed the same. We just painted the wall white. We put the chef clock over here. It's hiding like an uh, old phone jack that doesn't work anymore. We did some border, some chef border up on the wall there. It's all long. It was very easy. It only took like 30 minutes to do that. That was simple <laughs> compared to all the other things we did. We painted the doors black. And we replaced the curtains. The curtains used to be like brown plaid curtains. So we replaced them with these black uh, flowery ones. Um, and then the curtains over here we replaced as well. They used to be brown like plaid as well. Then we painted the door black. 
This was Rust-Oleum Thor paint, by the way. We used a lot of Rust-Oleum kits for our remodel. We also replaced the doorknob. The doorknob was like 12 bucks at Walmart, so it wasn't like too, too expensive to replace, but we replaced it because if not, it would have been a gold one and the gold doesn't really go with the kitchen. We had to replace the, well, we replaced the floor, as you can tell. It's black and white checkered. Um, but we had to replace these little things right here. I can't remember what they're called. Um, we had to replace these. These were gold anyway, so we didn't mind replacing them. Because if you replace your floors and you have like a, um, like a sheet of just flooring down, not like tiles like these are. These are stick on tiles, by the way, but the, what used to be there was like the, um, it's like a sheet. You just roll it on. So these were a lot, it was a lot lower, so these didn't have to be as, I don't know how you really explain it. But anyways, we had to replace them because the floor got higher. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, we replaced the switch plates over here as well. So you can see this one's a silver one. We're gonna put black, black outlet cover or uh, black outlet things in there as well. We replaced this switch plate as well. So it's it's silver, and we're just gonna put black ones here too. So a couple like minor things we still have to do is we're just gonna um, put the black, the black uh, outlets in, and then we're going to fill in the holes in the cabinets so and that's really it for the kitchen if you guys have any questions for me just let me know oh and I forgot the light we replaced the light as well it used to be this kind of light over here it used to be that kind of light it was silver I mean it would have gone but we replaced it with this one um, our next project would be the dining room we're going to kind of update the dining room. As you can tell, we have a gold chandelier, which I hate gold. Um, just not a color I like. <laughs> I like silver more than I do gold. Um, and we're going to redo this um, table. It's you know more of a woodsy type color, like the backs, like the the wall back here is. This is called knotted wood or something like that. And so, and we'll replace the light switch there and. This will be something minor though because not as big as the kitchen, like the cabinets took forever to do. Um, but they make a kit for furniture by Rust-Oleum and we're going to get that kit to redo our kitchen table um, because obviously it just doesn't really go with our kitchen anymore. Um, so anyways, but yes, that is, that is our dining room as of now. But we're definitely going to change it up. So when we do, I'll give you a little tour of that. Um, but that won't be for a couple months. So, but stay tuned. <laughs> Alrighty, thanks for watching.